catch my flight at Fort Lauderdale International Airport at around 4 p.m. So uh, I can't be I can't be fishing that long today or for that much of the time of the day. But um, anyways, I found a really good sheep's head spot uh, yesterday evening after I got off the beach and I took some of my friends fishing and we caught we caught some snappers and um, a look down fish and a stingray. But I saw a good amount of sheep's head and. I was kind of like, darn, like if we had a little bit more daylight, I probably would have been able to catch a few more. But um, I was like, you know what, I'm going to wake up real early, get to the water, bright and early, and, you know, get some bait, you know, do a little chumming, knock some of the oysters off the pilings, and, uh, you know, I'll probably catch a few. So uh, that's what I'm going to be targeting today is, is some sheep's head. Um, I've never caught a sheep's head before, but, you know, I heard, you know, they're in the same family species as a tatag or blackfish up north and um, you know if they fight as, any, as hard as blackfish or tatag you know it's gonna be a fun day. Is that a house? Look at the size of that house. Holy moly. It's got a limo out front. Wow. Alright guys, just got to the water, and um, I'm hoping uh, some of my hard work will pay off today because I'm going to have to do a lot of chumming, and uh, to collect bait, I'm going to have to, you know, really, you know, chop down some oysters on some of the rocks and pilings in order to get some good bait that the sheep's head will like, but um, let's just see what happens. It really is a tenuous process to get bait, but once you get that little boogery bait, you can catch some fish. There's a nice little oyster. And what's also good about this is after you break open an oyster, that's more chum, you just throw it in the water. There's all little scraps that are on these little oyster shells that these sheep's head love to eat. So it attracts a lot more fish. There's also little crabs, like I'm holding a little crab here. Um, that little crab lives in the oysters. That's, you know, those sheep's head are going to eat that too. Let's see if I can crack open this little oyster. Got another nice little boogery piece of bait, you know. It's dirty work. My hands are really stinky and dirty, but catches a really nice, hard-fighting fish. I like to hook the the bait a couple times through itself, so it just so it doesn't come off the hook. Got a sheep's head right below me here. Oh, two sheep's head. Got another one. There he is, got him. Oh gosh, come on guy. Nice sheep's head right there. Woo! Pretty colors, I love catching them. Splashing me in the face. <laughs> Where's that hook, buddy? Where's that hook? There he goes. Let's catch some more. Whew, this has been fun. I'm probably gonna sit here and catch maybe uh, you know three, four more, and then I'm gonna head and head in and go to freshwater fishing to see if I can get another eight pound largemouth. <laughs> Gotta get some more bait.
That's some good chum right there. Sheep's head are gonna come swimming when you chop up a lot of the oysters like that. That was a good piece of bait I just let fall down. I'm using a rock and pliers in order to get my bait. What I'm doing is I'm using the rock to loosen everything up. Then I take my pliers and I rip it off the pilings. Then I come over here and I give it a little bit more choppy in order to get my bait out of the oyster. I've got a little tiny piece of bait right now, but I think it'll work. Really tiny piece of bait. That's a big one. Oh, it's a good one. Okay. Whew. Big sheep's head. Really big one. Just ate up that little booger, booger oyster. These guys are crazy. Oh. Nice big sheep's head. Gorgeous fish. They fight so hard. I can catch these all day. Whew. It's like pulling on a big bluegill. <laughs> all right, let's put them back safely. There he goes, ringing the dinner bell. There he is. Fish on. These guys fight great. Oh, nice sheep's head right there. I'm gonna probably catch one more and then I'm gonna call it for the day on sheep's head fishing. Nice, pretty fish. I just did a little bit more chumming. I'm gonna put on my last piece of boogery uh, oyster bait and hopefully connect with uh, one more sheep's head. There's a bite. Oh, that's a puffer fish. Puffer fish. Look at this, he's puffing up. He's puffing up. He's a cute little guy. Hooked him. He's still he's a little puffy guy though. Well, I still want to end the day with a sheep's head, so I'm gonna get one more piece of bait. I actually got a sheep's head right down here on the piling. I'm surprised that blowfish got to the bait before that sheep's head did, but that's what happens sometimes. This looks like a good good oyster right here. Oh, look at this. Look at that chunk of bait on there. That's going to catch me that sheep's head that's down there. I guarantee it. Wow. It's probably the biggest boogery piece I've had all day. Look at the size of that piece right there. Nice boogery piece. Throw the scraps in the water, do a little chumming. Drop this down here along the piling. There he is, got him. I dropped it down to the bottom. Oh, he got off. Darn. I'm still trying to catch that last sheep's head. I'm going to put on one last boogery piece, hopefully. And then I can get out of here and do, do some other fishing. I'm going to count to 10. I think something's going to eat this right away. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, nothing's ha eaten it yet. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There he is, seventeen. Seventeen seconds. Oh, that's a good one. This one, this one might be the biggest one of the day, or close to it. He's a fighter. Oh, pound for pound, these guys fight hard. Oh, that's a that's a chunk right there. That's definitely the biggest one of the day right there. Woo! Look at the size of that mouth on him. I'm definitely gonna end the sheep the sheep's head fishing on a high note like this. I would have loved to throw some of these on the frying pan. If you guys out there know if sheep's head tastes good, let me know. Post it in the comment section below. I want to know if these guys taste good. I want to know if they taste as good as uh, Tatog. Look at those teeth. Some big chompers just like Tatog or Blackfish. Wow, these guys fight hard and they're fun. Let me unhook them and get them back in the water. Woo! Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed the little morning session of uh, doing some sheep's head fishing on my day six down here in Florida. If you've got any questions, just post in the comment section below or if you want to know what kind of gear I was using, just look in the description. And um, I still have a few hours left in the morning or early afternoon. Um, I'm only going to be able to fish till 12 p.m. today. You know, I have a flight at 4 p.m. But, um, you know, I figured because I caught so many sheep's heads so quickly at this spot that I found yesterday, I was like, you know what, I caught enough fish, I caught enough sheep's head, I'm going to call it for, for fishing, at, uh, fishing for sheep's head, and I'm going to go hit a canal, and I'm going to hit the same canal where I caught like two eight plus pound bass on my day one fishing Florida. So hopefully I can uh, get into some more big bass before uh, I leave Florida. Um, you know, last time when I was out fishing, I forgot my scale in the car. And uh, I'm kind of bummed because I don't have an exact weight of how, how heavy those, those two big bass were. So I want to capitalize on, on that and hopefully catch even a bigger bass, maybe a 10 pounder, and get it on the scale. That'd be crazy. But uh, let's just see what happens. Click the top left corner to, to watch part two of fishing day six down here in Boynton Beach, Florida. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys out in the water.